Good morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you are watching this, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we are going to talk about how to build a website with Wix. Uh, it's super, super easy. I really like this website. Um, it gives you a lot of creative freedom to do kind of whatever you want. Um, so let's just get right into it. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Wix.com. It's going to give you a page that looks like this. Uh, it's going to make you make an account. Make an account really quickly. Obviously, use my AGA email. Super, super quick. For you guys, uh, my students, you probably can't use the AGA email that you were assigned. Use a personal one. No big deal. So I'm going to hit create new site. So it's going to ask me what kind of site do I want to build? Well, I'm going to build a portfolio, right? The project is asking me to put several different elements onto the website. So I want this to be a portfolio style thing. It'll bring you a page that'll look like this. Create your website with the editor or let Wix ADI create a website for you. Here's the deal, ladies and gentlemen. You want to work smarter, not harder. Smarter, not harder. So I could go to create your website with the editor. It'll give me a ton of options. It'll let me edit all kinds of different things. I don't really want to do that much work. I'm going to let the ADI create the website for me. Let it do its thing. Now this part is going to have a fair bit of loading. Um, I mean, it's making a website for you, so you can imagine. So I'm going to hit school project and I'm doing an English school project. Next. It's going to give me some recommended features. I don't really need any of this. So I'm going to click those and next. Well, I'm unclicking them. Add a title to my project. So for my project, for the sake of this example here, I'm actually doing it over the Avengers, just the movies. Obviously that's not a novel. You guys are doing yours over your novel. Um, but the Avengers is something that everybody will recognize. So hopefully that is helpful in making the example more obvious to you. Hit next, I don't have any Google places or an existing website that I wanna link. So don't need to worry about that. Uh, for this, I'm gonna actually, I'm actually going to add a logo. So I'm gonna hit this plus. I have a little Avengers logo saved in my pictures. Avengers A, make it look really nice. Once it loads in, I'm not gonna insert any of this information and we're good. So now it's constructing my website. So now it's gonna ask me to pick a theme. Now this is one element where we're talking about that thematic aesthetic. What reminds me of the book that we're talking about, or in my case, the movies that we're talking about. So I have grand, sophisticated, elegant, timeless, high rise and bold, an adventurous spirit that's loud and proud. To me, bold sounds the most like the Avengers. So I'm gonna go with that one. Now it says use colors from your logo to create a palette for your site. So remember, we're talking aesthetic, thematic aesthetic, okay? So for my aesthetic, we're talking about the Avengers. I really don't want this black and white logo to be the palette for my website, right? Especially when I'm talking the Avengers, that doesn't fit here. So I'm actually just gonna skip this. And if you have a different logo that is more colorful and you feel it really hits your theme, then I would hit next, but for me, it's not gonna work. So we hit next, we let it do its thing. Now it's gonna ask me to pick my favorite homepage design. I've actually already done this a couple of times, so I know exactly which one I like. Um, so I'm gonna scroll down, let me see. Here we go. Please let me scroll down. No. Oh, I want the nice one. Wait, why can't I scroll down? Okay. Oops. Fine. I just hit the one on the far right. No big deal. No big deal. So now it's adding, it's going to ask me to add pages. So for now, I'm actually going to skip this. I want to create my pages a little bit later in the process. 
So normally this would take a little bit longer, but I didn't have any pages to add. So it's made my website. I mean, this, if I wanted to, this could be it, right? But I don't want to, because I have other things I need to do. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit my homepage. So I'm gonna click edit right here. So first of all, I wanna change my title because I have a way better title than that. Okay. I don't really want a subtitle. Well, maybe. Actually, yeah, we'll put a we'll put a subtitle. By Alice Frazier. And then maybe for my description, I'll put not all this, but you know, period one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight whatever period you have me. Then for my media, I'm actually going to google.com uh, the Avengers. Avengers, we're just gonna find something super quick. This seems fine to me. Make sure that you open it before you save it, otherwise it'll come out funky. So I'm gonna save this image as, save it to my desktop, assemble. Great. So now I'm going to go back to my website. And so for here, I'm going to edit and replace this because these books aren't really fitting what I got going on. So I'm going to hit replace. Let it do its thing for just a moment. There we go. I'm going to go right up here, upload media, and then I'm just going to drag and drop this right here. So I'm pretty happy with this, with this picture that we have. It's gonna upload it, I'm gonna hit apply, and boom. Perfect, I'm very, very happy with this. So I'm actually gonna just exit out, and this is my homepage. I'm, I'm happy with how this looks right now. So, I'm going to exit that right there so I have a bigger screen to work with for right now. Then I'm going to scroll down. So for my homepage, honest to God, I don't really want all of this extra stuff. I'm just going to delete it. You can put, you know, your favorite quote or something from the book. That's up to you. I'm not going to. I don't really need all this extra junk. Delete, delete, delete. So now I just have this homepage. Seems great. I like it. So I want to add extra pages now for my project. This is just letting me know that my site is saving as I'm going. Okay, so I wanna add a new page. So it's gonna bring up a, uh, one right over here. And I want Let's see, what's gonna give me some good options? I'm, I'm happy with this one and you'll see why in just a second. Okay, so I've created a new page. I'm gonna keep going. I want to first edit this top section. Now, why do I want to edit the top section? Well, that's a great question. Oops, I'm in the wrong spot. I want to edit it because, oh, actually it's not the top section that I want to edit. I want to, here we go, edit and manage my pages. So I click this little drop down right here. I'm gonna hit settings, rename. Well, I want my pages to just be, oops, the names of the projects or the smaller projects that I have. So the first one is character therapy, okay? So now, once I'm finished with my website, when I click character therapy, boom, it's just gonna take me straight here to my character therapy uh, section. So now let's edit this. So I'm gonna click edit. It's gonna bring up my options over here. I'm gonna first change this picture. Oops, not section design. No, watch as it takes me backwards. Okay, great. 
So first I'm gonna hit edit and replace. I want a different picture here. Uh, we're gonna replace it. I'm gonna upload media again, upload from computer. So for mine, I chose Iron Man for my um, fear section. So that's what I'm gonna put. I'm just gonna put a picture of, I believe I just have one called Iron Man. Beautiful. I'm gonna let it do its thing and then I'm gonna apply it. Boom, how good does that look? Actually very happy with how this turns out. Okay, so I got my picture and now I want to continue to edit it. So my title is going to be the fears of Iron Man. Great. Don't really need a subtitle for this one. And then for my intro paragraph, I'm going to write throughout the Avengers series, we see that Tony Stark has, has, has a powerful fear of losing the people he loves. Very, very simple. I would put maybe something more profound here, but for the sake of example, that is just fine. And boom, hitting that X. Look at that, that looks fantastic. Very, very happy with how that looks. So now I need to actually get into the meat of my uh, character therapy project. So how do we do that? Well, I'm gonna add a section to page, which is going to add something uh, I want to add this at, oops, I want to add this at the bottom. So I'm actually going to exit out of this. And I'm going to go to the bottom here and make sure that that's what I'm working on. Add section to page. Very good. So uh, th this is going to be more of a body part of it. And we're just looking for something that we're happy with. Oh, actually, I kind of like this one. So I'm going to add this section. Really easy. So once again, we're going to do the same thing. So title. Um, so for this one, the first fear that I have uh, written down over here is uh, from Age of Ultron. OK, so I still want the title. Uh, but it's going to be, um, I'll just call it the name of the movie, Avengers Age of Ultron. Uh, and then for my subtitle here, I'll keep it this time, I'll call it Tony's, oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen, typing is hard, Tony's vision. Okay, so I already have a paragraph typed up here. I've encouraged all of my students to go ahead and start working ahead. And this will be a great way to do that. Type it up before you do it. So I typed it up into a Word doc. I'm just going to copy and paste it in. And there it is. Once again, for my media, I'm going to edit and replace. I'm going to replace it because I have a picture that I'm very, very happy with. I'm going to upload media, upload from computer. Oof, what did I call? Oh, I think it's at the top actually. Here we go. Infinity War Ultron Vision. And I'm going to apply it. And it's going to replace the picture. So boom, there it is. I have made the first portion of my fear uh, section of the project, it's right there, okay? Here's my first page, I scroll down, I see the first one, and there it is. I need to do five of these though, right? 
So once again, I'm gonna make sure I'm at the bottom here. I'm gonna hit add section to page. And you know what, this, this template really worked for me. So I'm still in body. Make sure I'm still in body. I'm gonna scroll down and I'm just gonna use the same one again because it worked the first time. Why would I change it? Um, so for this one, I'm actually gonna have to Google this one. Tony Stark. Captain America. I misspelled Captain, but you know, it is what it is. So this picture is perfect because I believe, if I remember the movie correctly, this is the exact scene that I am talking about in my paragraph. So I'm gonna save this image, desktop. Yeah, that's great. So I'm gonna go back and once again, I'm gonna edit it. So I'm typing my movie, Avengers. You know, you won't have to do this the same way that I'm doing it because I'm doing a movie series and not just a book, but you get it. Subtitle, I'm gonna say, I will not die for this. Mr. Frazier, what are you talking about? Well, if you were actually reading this project, you would know, but you don't need to because it's not important. What's important is that you're making it. And I'm gonna control V and there it is. So this one I'm talking about uh, Tony's fear of losing his family after uh, in Endgame, he doesn't want to he doesn't want to die for it because he he has a family now. So once again, I guess I should go back. Uh, I'm gonna go to edit replace. I'm replacing this image. We've done this three times now. I'm gonna drag and drop it. The one that I just saved. Let it do its thing. I'm gonna hit apply. And boom. Isn't that beautiful? Very, very simple, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm super happy with how this looks. So I'm gonna hit the X just to get a you know good view of it. I click character therapy. It's gonna bring me to my page that looks just like this. The fears of Iron Man. Boom, fear number one, Tony's vision. Boom, Avengers Endgame. This is my second one. And then I would do this for all five of them. Okay, very, very simple, very, very easy. Now. I'm gonna continue going to continue to show the process, but this is all you're doing. You're doing the exact same thing for the next two smaller projects. So now that I am quote unquote done, obviously you'll have more, but I'm, I'm done for the sake of this video. I'm gonna add another page. Now, what do I want this page to look like? Well, um, I kind of like, I kind of like this one. So once again, I'm gonna to go to the page editor really quickly, go to settings, I'm gonna to go to rename. And for this one, I'm gonna title it, recasting the, the Avengers. And I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna edit this. I'm actually pretty okay with how everything looks. Only thing is I'm going to edit and replace this. I like how small it is at the top there. I'm just going to replace that with the, um, you know, the Avengers A that we had been using. Oops, got too excited to click a little early. So I'm gonna go to upload from computer. This one I believe is in my pictures. Avengers. And then we're going to apply. Only vector art can be chosen. Uh-oh, ladies and gentlemen, we may have found an, an issue. 
Uh, so I'm actually just gonna exit out of this if I can't use what I want. That's fine. It, this is this little V thing doesn't look too awful terrible, but maybe I would uh, choose a different style for the home page if that were going to be the case. I'm actually just going to go to design, and I'm actually just going to choose a different one. Um, you know what? I'll choose. I'll choose this one. A little boring because I've used this one several times, but it's fine. So because of this, I'm going to need another picture now that I did with Avengers. So I'm just going to type Avengers cast. This is you know, this is fine. And then I'm going to save image as. Save it to my desktop because that's always the easiest place to find things. Cast. Let that do its thing for just a moment. And then we're back to Wix. So I'm going to edit. Going to leave the section design alone. Title. Recasting the Avengers. Don't really see a need for a subtitle on this one. And then, although the cast of the Avengers absolutely nailed it in their roles. Um, there are other actors, I believe, that can fill the roles equally, equally. as well and add new dynamics to the film. Easy. And then for the media, once again, I'm going to edit and replace. Going to replace it with the casting picture that we just took. We just took that, we just found. Upload from computer. You already know what we're doing. Desktop. Cast, open, wait for it to do its thing, and apply. Awesome. Once again, look, for me, I'm very happy with how this looks. So I'm going to make sure that I'm at the bottom first, and I'm going to add section to page. And once again, we're in the, the body. I'm going to try and switch it up just a little bit. Go over here. And I'll just use this first one. This one seems fine to me. OK. They, if you notice, Wix really loves this picture of this dude in front of this fruit and coffee. But that is funny. OK. So I'm just checking my document where I have this. So I'm going to the title and I have Donald Glover as Spider-Man. And then actually while I'm here, I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste the paragraph that I have written. I'm going to make sure that I capitalize Spider-Man. Then I'm going to keep on trucking to the bottom. So you'll notice this thing that says buttons. And this is where this read more is coming in. I don't really need that. There's not going to be any links. So I'm just going to click that and take away. I'm going to edit, replace, and upload media. Upload from computer. You guys have watched me do this six times now. I'm sure you understand. Donald for Spider-Man is what I have that picture saved as. Let it do its thing. And apply. Boom. Super happy with how this looks. And if you notice, what Wix just did 
it moved the picture around just a little bit to make sure that it looks uh, pretty clean. That's another feature of Wix that I really, really like. Okay. Super, super easy. You know, we're doing approximately the same thing um, on repeat. Okay. So I'm going to add a new section one more time. Just to really hammer the point home. We're going to body. I was pretty happy with how that one looked. We'll do a different one this time just because add a little spice, a little flair. So I'm going to scroll down. So my title for this one, I have Gabrielle Union, Dwayne Wade's wife as I am. And then once again, while I'm here, I'm just going to copy and paste my paragraph. I don't want this read more link, so I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to edit and replace. I'm going to replace it. Upload media, upload from my computer. Very, very simple. Gab Iron Man is what I have that saved as. I think Gabrielle Union would make a fantastic Iron Man. So then I'm going to hit apply and it's going to add this picture. Super, super easy. Now, of course, you can do all kinds of extra fancy things at the bottom here, right? When you hit add, you know, I'm using very simple designs because I like them. I tend to be a minimalist with this kind of stuff. But hey, feel free to go in and play around. There's a lot of room to be creative, okay? And then you know, for the last one, we would add page. I'm not gonna go through this one because you've already watched me do it, you know, four times. Um, but I'm going to add an introduction page. Just choose one of these that I like. Here, let's do something new. Mm, I like this one. And then this would be my uh, news article assignment. You know, same thing, edit. Mr. Frazier, didn't you say you weren't going to do it? Yeah, but we're already here. Uh, I'm just gonna title it character news. Don't, uh, for my subtitle actually, I'm gonna type Captain America news. And yeah, I would type a, a quick paragraph here about Cap the, the news that Captain America is interested in and yada yada. I actually, this I don't love this design. I would actually probably want one that where I could put a picture of Captain America. So I'm actually gonna change it really quickly. Here we go, this one seems great. Going to replace this image, replace, upload media. Pretty sure I have a picture of Captain America just on my desktop. That's where I like to keep them. There we go. Cap. Which, you know, I never do. I I've never capped in my life, but for the sake of this, I'm going to upload that. Boom. Apply. And awesome. So I'm gonna go back. Once again, don't really need this read more. Yeah. So actually, let's uh, let's make a page for this one really quickly because I wanna show you something cool that you can do. So I'm gonna add a page, add a section at the bottom here. Uh, it's gonna be my, what is the word I'm looking for? Actually, this one's fine. So I'm actually gonna find a new picture really quickly. Captain America Proxy. So 
Someone save this picture as desktop boxing cap. So for the title, I'm gonna actually just let's see. Open up the article really quickly. And for my title, I'm actually just gonna make it the title of the news article. So I'm, I'm actually just gonna copy and paste that. And then for my body, I typed up my paragraph, although mine's not actually a paragraph, but yours will be. So I'm just gonna paste that. We see Cap boxing a couple times in the movies. And so we're safe to assume that he likes to box. Then we're gonna hit edit and replace. We're going to replace this picture with the boxing cap picture that we just saved, upload from computer. Open. And apply. And there we go. Very, very simple. Now for the, what I wanted to show you though, is we're gonna go back up here and we're gonna scroll down. So where it says read more, this time we're gonna leave it. And I'm gonna click link. And I'm gonna type web, I'm gonna hit web address. And then I'm going to just copy the link to the news article. Press copy. And I'm just gonna paste that right there and hit done. Okay, so that means that I've linked this to my page. All right, so if you click read more, it should take us to uh, the page for that news, that particular news article. Okay, and so boom, we are done, except not because you got more to do than this. Okay, oh, and I didn't change the name of it. So we're going to click right up here in this little blue box. We're going to rename it. We're going to call it uh character news super easy and so now i have my home page my character therapy recasting and my character news everything that i need on the website right there we made it super super quick so now i'm going to click preview and so now i'm in preview mode this is going to let me can look at the website, I'm gonna get rid of this real quick, and see what it would look like to someone else who were on here, okay? So I'm gonna click my home page and what we can see what that looks like. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? I'm very, very happy with this, okay? Character therapy, let's see what that looks like. Okay, it brings me up a page like this. Fears of Iron Man, there we can see. Avengers Endgame, perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm so happy with this. Hit this, scroll down, recasting the Avengers, Donald Glover Spider-Man, Gabrielle Union is Iron Man, awesome. Character news, and we can test. Boom, brings us to the Captain America news. Scouting report, what makes this guy uh, elite. And then if I hit read more, there we go. It takes me to the news article that we were talking about. Okay. So, so cool. We're very, very happy with how this came out. So we're going to scroll back to the top and you guys are going to make sure that you complete every section and complete all of it. But for the sake of this example, we're done. We're happy with how this came out. 
So I'm gonna click publish my site so that people can see it. I'm gonna use a free domain because I don't care about the domain title. I'm gonna hit publish and continue. We're gonna let it do its thing. It's coming soon. Make sure to stretch after doing a lot of really good hard work. And my site is published. So I'm gonna hit view site. I'm gonna move this and boom, there it is. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Click my, we can see all the work that we've done and that we're very proud of. So, so unbelievably easy. And like I said, I did it the easy way. There's a ton of creative stuff that you can do with it. There's a ton, a ton, a ton of really creative stuff that you can do with it. I just went with the easy way, okay? So I'm actually going to um, just copy and paste the link. And then I would post this onto uh, Google Classroom. And so when I, Mr. Frazier, go to grade the assignment, all I have to do is boom, click the link. It'll take me to your website. I can scroll through it and I can play around with it. Okay. So, so unbelievably easy. You guys just saw how to do everything. Okay. It couldn't be any simpler than that. You can use other websites than Wix. This is what I'm the most familiar with. And as you saw, I feel it's the easiest one to work with. Feel free to use GoDaddy, um, Google Sites, uh, web, word, WordPress, word, WordPress. Feel free to use any of those if that's what you're more comfortable with. This is what I was comfortable with. This is what I think is the easiest. Use whatever you want, okay? Have a fantastic rest of your day, ladies and gentlemen. I hope this was helpful. If you have any further questions, feel free to reach out. Feel free to email me. Or if you're another teacher, uh, if you have another teacher and they're just using my video to help other students out, feel free to reach out to them um, and we'll be able to help you out. Have a fantastic day, ladies and gentlemen. Be good, be blessed. Most importantly of all, especially right now, be safe. I hope you all do a fantastic job on this project. And I hope that you have a great day.